Hey everybody, it's Tom. Haven't seen a lot of you in a long time. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm retired now. I turned 65 in April. Uh, a lot's been going on, and uh, if you notice, the room is kind of empty. Uh, I'm on the move again, but that'll be another story. Uh, speaking of stories, you know I'm famous for them. But I've been noticing uh, since I retired, I was going to pick up the guitar again, which I have. Um, it's a good thing that I didn't play as well back then as I do now. Uh, I'd either be dead or in prison. But that's another story, too, for another time. However, when I was looking around on the internet, I noticed something funny about guitar uh, music being shown by other people and there's a lot of famous guitarists out there and they're damn good and I recommend you know checking out some of these tutorials that are out there but the one thing that a lot of people don't do is they don't explain why you want to do things a certain way like you know every, they go out and they say well what's the best guitar to buy uh, an electric or an acoustic and I was like well any self-respecting guitarist has both already. But the idea is they don't tell you what to look for, you know, and I've, I've been kind of lucky with my guitars over the years. But the one thing that I always had around me is what I call a bang box. And the bang box is your just house guitar, the one you keep around. Every guitarist has a bang box. And do you carry it with you everywhere you go and you play on it all the time? The idea is that the bang box is not really an expensive guitar in and of itself because a lot of times you're going to be outside, you know, banging on it. So obviously it makes sense you want an acoustic. I have a Jasmine here, and uh, let me show you that, you know, it's actually a Jasmine, if you can see the name there under the uh, tuner. Uh, I picked this one up for 70 bucks in a pawn shop. And it's got an extremely good sound to it. But what got me was the color. You know, I'll admit it looked good. And it was up there. 70 bucks, you can't go wrong, okay? And believe me, I put this thing through some shit already. So, that leads into the other story. The other story of why I took up guitar. And I took up guitar because, you know, many of my friends know that... Uh, I had a slight accident when I was younger on a stolen motorcycle. Uh, God got even with me on that one, kind of. <laughs> um, and messed up all eight of these fingers, okay? So when I went in to have my fingers looked at, they recommended that I take up guitar to get strength back in my hands. So. What I was learning, when I first learned, is it is a basic chord, you know, it, and to tell you the truth, I don't read sheet music, so, you know, whatever you hear, you, you're just hearing me play, okay? But anyway, I met this old guy, and this old guy showed me a tune on a 12-string, and I have a 12-string. Uh, I have four other guitars, and I'll be doing videos on them, because I'd love to give you a review. But anyway... The first chord, of course, to get strength in my hand was your, uh, I believe this is uh, C. I'm pretty sure it's a C. So I'm going to play a song, and I call it Borman's Boogie, okay? Because after I learned this, uh, ba very basic chords, well, here I go.
enjoyed that. And I'll be playing that a little longer version, and uh, I might even get around to write down the chords and, you know, notation sometime. Um, I wanted to thank you all, and if you enjoyed the video, uh, you can always buy me a coffee at uh, thomasforemanbuymeacoffee.com, okay? I'll see you all real soon. Thanks.